Hey there, it's Intuitive Tracy Roy. It is May 10th and it's an absolutely stunning day here in Ottawa. So I thought I'd come in the park and I'd do some earthing, I'd do some taking in of some vitamin C or vitamin D, sorry. So needed. And I've missed you guys and I've missed our connection. Um, you know, and I'd keep coming back to it and I'd pull my oracle cards for myself, but I still missed you guys, just know that. I was a little kind of over on TikTok talking politics. <laughs> and, um, but you know, it's just recently this week I felt how I needed to reconnect with Mama Gaia and reconnect with spirituality, you guys, you know, because I realized I was getting caught up in all the, uh, the drama of, um, you know we Canadians fighting for our freedom and I'll continue to to move forward with that movement but you know I was giving so much to that with my mind more my mind um, that I wasn't connecting as much uh, here spiritually and I was feeling it I was really really feeling it you know not being able to be um, focused and centered uh, with my thoughts and, uh, you know, I did every day, I would meditate. I have to meditate still for my head, right? And my, uh, my body. Um, but I, there was still a connection I was missing. I wasn't connecting as much. And I think it was this connection, because I still journaled. I would journal messages for myself and stuff or pull cards, but it was this connection with you guys I was missing. So I was so, so glad uh, to be back here. So I want to channel a message for you and pull a card. So let's jump in and uh, I'll get Whitehawk or JC or Oscar to come and I'll channel that message and then I'll pull a card for you. Mm, so nice out here, all the birds chirping. And, oh, it's just the perfect spring day. Indeed, indeed, indeed at play. And I think it's JC, Jesus Christ, because I I was just speaking with him. He, I had a personal um, reading with him. He wanted me to come and speak with him. And you may still hear him in the background. He was, he was cooing uh, as a morning dove. That's how he comes to me in the physical realm. Can you hear him? He's over there now. He was over here, now he's over here. And he says, indeed, it is me, little one. He says, so happy to be here, too, to see you all as well. I've missed you so much, he says. And I just feel joy, which can have that sort of similar feelings to sadness. Joy, you know, it's a very powerful emotion. Mm -hmm. And I do hope, he says, that you are happy that we are back as well. You know, sometimes we need to leave for a bit uh, for us to remember what our calling is or where we're needed or who we miss. So in other words, I'm like, so the meat Tracy absent makes the heart grow fonder. And he's like, yes. He goes, and so it's been too long, but let me jump in with you all. And today he arrives and he's in his white garments, uh, a white long tunic, like cotton shirt, goes past his knees. And then he has white, uh, wide-legged or straight-legged pants. And of course he's gorgeous as always as he is with his brown hair. And it's a beautiful day like it is today there or here where he is. And he's walking along, a, you know, a paved path. And, um, you know, I could feel like it's very much this park where I am. But it, it, there is a bit of a feel like he's walking along uh, a canal, which is like here in Ottawa. We have the, uh, the canal, our, Otto, our Ottawa Canal. And he goes, indeed, that is where I am. And so when he is there, oftentimes around a canal, I think of birthing. You know, we could be going through birthing, the birthing canal. And many of my messages when I get him, um, this is what it pertains to. Ah, indeed, he says, but it is such a glorious day. He says, come, come with me, children, walk with me. And so we come and we walk and I see um, a petite blonde haired, uh, woman come along and I'm thinking it's you Benita and uh, you come and you're so happy joyful to be here and I feel like you're dressed in white cotton dress loose-fitting dress as well 
And then I see Jackie, and Jackie comes, and she too is dressed in uh, a white, a white cotton dress, but hers is sleeveless, whereas uh, Benita's has sleeves. Oh, um, of course, we would not forget um, all our others. Sorry, I'm just forgetting a name, and that's nothing to do with the person. That's more to do with me and my brain. Sorry, everyone. I see you. Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. It's you, Brenda. <laughs> Sorry, I see your profile pic with your sunglasses on. So you're here, and um, we're all happy, and we're all walking along the path. And uh, I'm there, too. I'm just sort of trailing behind a bit. And... Um, walk in and you guys are happy to be reconnected with JC and you're all in white and I'm I'm behind actually wearing what I have on because <laughs> I think I had my little connection with him earlier uh, and just to know you know that everybody's welcome is just to be here and to walk with JC these are just the people he is showing me now he goes yes 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 do not we do not exclude anyone here everyone is welcome he says but we are very happy to be reunited um, as a family and again I'm feeling the joy of it and uh, he says come my children let's walk and the tulips are out all, out along the canal which is a common thing here in Ottawa and uh, we're just enjoying each other's company he says it's been far too long indeed uh, she did go away for a bit but she is back and she is back with reverence and she is back with determination and she is back uh, uh, with peace he says and groundedness and so we all walk and I'm in there too now and y you know everyone's asking him questions father father this father father that you know what about this what about that and he's like children children shush hush hush now hush 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 because I just want you to sit and we sit on a bench and I just want you to take partake in the peacefulness the quietness the tranquility he says because that's just it do you see how we were getting caught up in it all and we weren't taking time for ourselves to just um, relax and to allow the peace and quiet to come through so that we may hear Nespa as he borrows something from Whitehawk. We've been getting too caught up in the drama, he says. You always had the answers. You just needed to quiet yourself, to quiet your mind, to quiet your body, to remove yourself from the drama. But we didn't, did we? I mean, it's very, very exciting times, very, um, revealing times very um challenging times that it's no doubt that we can get drawn into it he says but we have to learn to sometimes you know we have to distance ourselves and recharge refresh these are all lessons you know um we have shown you over the years tracy knows them as well she got herself drawn into it as well because um this is not something we've ever seen in our lifetime happen but again, your power is in distancing yourself at times and recharging and refreshing oneself, he says, so that we may have um, the divine come through, that we may have spirit come through, so that our intuition may come through. And we have missed that, right? We don't always need someone to um, come and do it for us for indeed we have our own power we have our own power to do that and all it takes is sitting quietly for a while and it's like as he says that like I just stopped talking and he stopped talking and you go <sighs> yeah you know you feel the peace when you actually stop talking you know and stop watching television and just stop being around a lot of people and uh, that's why I felt myself Tracy very drawn to having to come and just sit in the park and doing uh, nothing but pulling my cards or listening to the birds yeah he says you've been missing it 
I go very much so. And for me, Tracy, my legs have been very, very achy. I think from my disconnection, and perhaps I could be grief, from my disconnection uh, with Mama Gaia and spirit and, um, yeah, just this. Because, yeah, very much so. She'd been calling out to you. We've been calling out to you. But I'm very happy to say we have returned. And in the distance here, I'm hearing sirens, like in the physical world. And he's like, yeah, it's so easy to get caught up in it all. But remember, your power lays in the ability to stand back and to take a focused and centered and grounded approach. You know, because they want you to get involved in the chaos. They want you to get involved in the distraction. Because if you get involved in the distraction, then they can do their work. Not to mention how it fatigues you, right? Like all that drama, 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 throwing things at you, boom, 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 boom. That you're just like, oh my God, there's so much going on. Your power comes in your quiet, in your tea away, in your stillness, which is another word he's taken from the, you know, from White Hawk, the tea away, the silence. So let's refresh and let's rejuvenate by taking time to be silent. Turn everything off, close the blinds. He says, go sit in a park that's quiet. Listen to the birds. Take the earbuds, he says, out of your ears. Don't listen to the music. Listen to the birds, the peace, the tranquility. And we're like, well, what if we can't? And we're like, then he's like, yes, then you go, you take the outside in, he says. And you listen to ocean waves crashing as a meditation or something. But nothing will ever beat the real nature. And then I just see homes being demolished and stuff and then, or forests being demolished and new homes being put up. And he's like, yeah, they are taking away nature, aren't they? Left, right, and center, they take away nature, he says. Because there is power in nature for humans. It's where we refresh, rejuvenate, connect. And if they take that away from us, we are constantly in a state of fear, a, fear, a, pain, um, a state of unwellness, he says. And that works to their benefit. So let's not get caught up in the drama. Let's decompress, he says. Take some time for ourselves. Everybody else can go on and do what they want, but let's take some time for ourselves. And we're like, okay, yeah. So some of us are picking, you know, flowers, wildflowers from uh, the grass, whether it be daisies or pansies or, you know, looking or just admiring them. Others are sitting and meditating, you know, cross-legged lotus position sort of thing. And some of us are just sitting on the bench, letting the sun shine on our face and shoulders. Indeed, he says, take time for you. God bless, little ones. God bless. And I'm just going to check in for a second, see if Oscar wanted to say something. And he says no. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you, JC. All right. So that's a long one. Did you see the top of my head all the way through that? Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that's the hard thing with channeling, right? You never know what, <laughs> what people, like where my head's going to go or whatever when I close my eyes, right? All right. I'm having a sip of my coffee. So nice to decompress, it really is. You'll get it, you know, you feel that scratchiness in your throat, tired in your face. For me, like I said, I feel the disconnection in my legs. And I was really, really feeling it. So, next, I will pull a card for you. All right, so we're gonna pull for the Wild Wisdom Fairy Oracle. I do hope you're hearing this well. I, I wanted to, um, bring my earphones so that I could speak through my microphone. 
got it. Sorry. And that's another thing, right? When, when we ground more and we're connected more to Mother Earth and Spirit, you know, we're not as forgetful. <laughs> okay. So, let's pull a card for us here today. All right. We have stolen in her sleep, unaware, unconscious, unawakened. Oh my goodness. Fifth, number 15 at the top. So as you can see, she is asleep in a bunch. Is that leaves? Oh no. Oh my goodness. That's the trolls. Can you see them up close? Do you see them there? Okay, let's see what I get a feel. Ooh, I don't like that. So it's like we're sleeping and the trolls are taking over us. They're stepping in wherever they can because of our unawareness and to me this does relate back to us being disconnected or definitely me I can't speak for you guys but based on what JC has said you know <clears throat> we've been disconnected from mama earth <clears throat> that makes us unaware that doesn't make us as centered that doesn't we're not as um, focused we're kind of off in all different directions so we can't bring the focus in, the visualization in, and, and that's where the trolls get us. And this can represent so many things, right? Like I can take this to what's going on here in Canada in politics and, you know, they say that where something big happens, so, or even in um, the USA with the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, people just got so immersed in that, right? that there are other things going on that dropped in the news, but we wouldn't have seen it because we would have been so focused somewhere else, right? So for us, the same thing, um, something I heard uh, this morning is that I think m more Pfizer documents dropped and then, but in the news, there was a Supreme Court um, leak. So all Canadians would go over there like, oh my God, the Supreme Court leak instead of, oh, there's this Pfizer document on vaccines, right? Because they want, they want to distract you from the truth. So my sense with this is in all walks of our life and everything that's going on, that we are being stolen in our sleep. And our sleep is that our unawareness, um, our unwokeness, right? And our unconsciousness. If I, I remember a meme that, you know, about if if we're they keep us in chaos that works to their benefit so keeping us in chaos and drama works to their benefit uh, because then we're not as healthy we're not as aware of what's going around in us because then we're, we're very much in our head and all that causes you know mental um, illness mental health issues um, so it works to their benefit so again this very much goes in keeping with um, what Jay was, JC was saying. And so, you know, let's take a moment and be grateful um, that we can come back at any point in time into nature and ground and take that time, make it ritual, you know, even schedule it. it sounds weird, right? To schedule meditation in our world. But sometimes we're so busy as parents or you know, a caregiver, if we're taking care of elderly parents or, or younger children, um, or even in our own work and, and creating our own goals, that we have to schedule that downtime because we're not meant to go, 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 right? That's where a lot of the addictions, I think, come from is trying to keep up with, um, you know, what the demands of life are. So we need to step back, create those boundaries and say, I'm taking me time self-care time right so I think very much so that's what that is so I'm just gonna read quickly from the book this is a long one sorry folks um, 15 so 
she says, unable to remember dreams, feeling cut off from psychic abilities. So again, yes, because we've been busy elsewhere. If you do not use it, you will lose it. That's Tracy's thing. It's not in the book, right? Like it, it, I have to connect in order to be able to connect strongly and stay connected. It's like playing basketball or playing the guitar. Once you step back from it, you're a little rusty at it, right? So feeling cut off from psychic abilities, unsure of whether the path you're drawn to follow is safe, feeling scared that you may be entering a dark realm, wishing to go home, oh, that makes me sad, and to ascend before you have done the deep work on the self. If this card has come to you, it is time to go deep within, to go into the earth, and to understand that material transformation is spiritual. It is then that your gifts will be fully awakened. So, you have my intuitive message, and you have <clears throat> this message from here. So, I hope, uh, you know, it connects with you now or give it time. It may be a day or two and, and it may it may show itself. It could be even a week. Again, you know, the universe isn't on time. It doesn't have a clock. <laughs> but as Benita always says, it's always on time, right? So think of it that way. So really happy to be back connecting with you guys. Uh, really felt uh, a part of myself was um, lost. So I will see you again soon. And uh, in the meantime, take care of yourself. Uh, you know, if you don't, then uh, nobody else will stand up for yourself. And we will see you soon. God bless.